All right, guys. Well, if there's no questions, go ahead and ready up. Good luck, everybody. That's going to be uh, Inner, assisted by Johnny Wu, leading the time effort, and uh, Daryl Dime over there, leading HL3 in action. Five, four, three, two, one. HL3 is on defense first. If if you're if you're short a player, what do you do to try to give yourself Mission a shot to win? Sixty seconds. On defense, focus, focus, focus on that cart. Uh, I know usually you like to push the line a little beyond it, but if you're down a man, I'd say play a little conservative, defend the cart, and because you have to watch out for people who are going to try and jump behind you and push it away from you. You don't have the yeah. extra staff on hand to respond. On offense, tactics going to be pretty similar to what we saw earlier. Put the minimum number of people on the cart that you can. Make sure that your soldiers and demos are using pain trains. Uh, and then get everybody else forming a barricade in the front and watch your flanks. I think I agree with that. I think conservatism is going to be key. No, no suicides, no stupid deaths. If you're low on health, get Mission out. Begins in 10 get seconds. friends. We do see time on offense right now has Tungsten in the sky position. However, Reverend King is pyroing for HL3. The first Uber comes out the gate. So far, HL3 takes down three and only loses one. Seagreen uh, sniping from the back. See, see Wedge using a Machina. Not his usual uh, weapon, but since he's no risk while in the spawn door, I think we'll see him try to get that extra damage. We see, oh, a sap going on there as Tungsten gets behind the line and uh, takes out the HL3 sentry gun. Only one up now. Two just spawned for HL3. There'll be some good uh, push time now for time. If you're HL3, you can't give in to the desire to run out here piecemeal. you got to get everybody come up together, even if it means losing a little bit more, a little bit more of that front line. Stay alive. Get the group up. Time, obviously, trying to keep that from happening. They're playing way forward, almost at a point two position. While well, the combo gets the cart to the first point in a minute and 16. Right. Tell 3 has still not gotten fully staffed here. They haven't, but they are being effective. This minute 16 is slower than it was, uh, slower than the first point was for either 32 or God in the last match. 32 in the first it's round, the, uh, or God in the second. Daryl getting into the a duel with Wedge. <laughs> oh, As Tungsten. That was unusual. Uh, entire HL3 team is down. Tungsten eliminated at least three of their players in a row there. Time pushing hard through the underpass. As you said, HL3 needs to get some folks up. They're coming out one or two at a time. Well, uh, Bandito's doing a good job staying alive for a moment there. Looks like they may yeah, concede this point. I would. I, I'd say they need to. Um, the area here where the bridge comes down is very easy to defend if you can get set up there. You have height, you have a lot of places to hide, you have resupply, but uh, you, you gotta get set up there before you can use it. Laffy Taffy, I believe better known as Larry, uh, gets a couple of stabs. But we see the combo for time has made it up to point three at the top of the ridge and is trying to hold things back while the card is brought forward. Ooh, shot by Wedge. Takes out the demo. Yeah. Can't hold still out there. Wedge has got free reign being all the way back like that. It's a very well defended spot for a sniper. like there is a spy going after him, but he, he notices it, and he is wearing the razor back as well. Spy going after the medic over there. Gets sniped in the head. Blunt Spoon working with Inner here. 
Blunt Spoon is a scary heavy. He's very good. Wow. 332 to 13. Taffy misses his first but gets a second stab on Uber the soldier. However, Wedge is now operating inside the final building. And we are seeing this cart push right on through. The Spy, the only character who can get out of the spawn, spawn uh, balconies safely. And we're seeing a cap at 3 minutes and... We're sorry, 4 minutes and 15 seconds. Yep. Three players on HL3 uh, didn't score a single point that round. That was, was very rough for them. That is, classes too. Yeah, those are damage classes that just got torn apart. You know Wedge is part of that, to be sure. Uh, his ability to take down those heavy, slower moving classes at a distance. But yeah, that that's that hurt. Yeah, that hurts a lot. They'll uh, have less need to be so well focused uh, with the pushing, but... They've got to work together a little more. They they kind of trickled out out of spawn, ran into the wall, and got mowed down for for about three minutes and, uh, towards the end of the map. Mission begins in 30 seconds. And this is an opportunity. If they can get a couple of points, they will increase their overall point total, which is also relevant to final standings. So this is something where they they can work as a team, stay on that cart, and just just around it, make sure it moves forward. Don't get caught deathmatching in the open, because we saw what just happened when they when they came out one at a time to try and pick fights. Five, four, three, two, one. Mission Wedge is going to try to pick somebody out the door here. But he misses. Uber popped. Like Bandidos with the Uber as a pyro. Running up top, doing some air blasting, goes after the uh, opposing medic, but Wedge manages to snipe him down, protect his medic with the sniper rifle. There's a counter Uber from Blunt and Inner over on the uh, defensive right. Soldier pinned to the wall out of the air. But I'd love to see HL3 get on that cart and push it up there, see if they can get a point or two here. Well, they are able to get it and get it moving. They have struggled as you suggested they would when they try to push past the cart. They need to get some uh, focus fire probably on Blunt Spoon and Inner combination. That pair has been holding the side. Uh, obviously, the entire time team doing a good job here, but that pair in particular has just been destroying them over there. I haven't seen them go down a whole lot. They, they Larry is sniping. I think uh, if I were him, I'd be trying to pick uh, put one in Bone Sweep's head there. There's an Uber popped on the defense by time. See, he was able to. He is. You saw he were able to. He was able to stand up there uh, with impunity in the open. He was not getting uh, any sniper danger on him. So Wedge doing his job, keeping down his counterpart in the sniper duel. We see him fighting now against a spy in the backfield. You see lemons. Uh, oh, but the medic is taken out. There's some progress here by uh, HL3 getting up to the canyon there. They get, they get wiped uh, pretty much there, They though. did. That was all eight players down. They made a bold move over on the flank. It did distract time long enough to let them get the cart forward uh, 20, 30 feet or so. They're going to need a little more than that if they want to get to the next point. Only a minute and a half left.
time has just built a wall here. They have. This is that a... wall extends just about behind where the cart is, and anybody who gets past that's getting killed. Matter of fact, they're picking them up as they approach Boom. the wall. Boom! Headshot! Headshot! I don't believe Inner or Bloodspoon have gone down yet this entire round. They have been in that same position over on the defensive right this whole time, popping Ubers occasionally. Oh, the HL3 coming out with melee weapons now. Thinking about metagame. Time here is actually hurting themselves by stopping this point in the long run, since they, uh, they're they depriving themselves of the ability to score points. Uh, since they will cap once and win if they, if, this, they, this if they successfully push. If they do this in the second one, that's correct. This time they've already got their four points for the first. That's right. But yes, if they do that in the second, that's a valid point. In the metagame, if they want to actually tie up with Rupert Drunks, they need to allow HL3 to cap out. They just need to allow it slowly. Right. Right. I don't know if we'll see them do that. Go ahead and switch that. colors. Switch colors. Then we're trying to win out here. And uh, at they finish out 9 and 1, they'll be right, in we'll fine take a short half time after you switch cup. Matter of fact, they'll be guaranteed a spot, I think, if they finish this 9 and 1. Uh, yes, I believe you're correct. Because I think they would Nobody they else have to will have GOD, so... Right. Yeah, GOD will have only one loss. Nobody else has fewer than one, so if time wins both, and then both teams... Well, Time and Group of Drunks will face each other, of course, in the final match next right. week, so only one of them can end with that record. Exactly. So, you, right. And if they both finish out at 8-2, uh, and two, I think... I believe that also would put them both in the finals, no matter what happens in all of their matches. Um, yes, you are correct. Because no, no one else has fewer than three losses. Yeah, we could be looking at a couple of 7-3s and threes otherwise, but they're the only, only ones with that ability. So, N King has swapped out and allowed Sultan to take spot. Sultan, of course, well known as a phenomenal medic. He's been on uh, three different Vil Cup winning teams consecutive years. Also, see if we have to play the switching game again. <laughs> yes, that is a good point. It's entirely we'll possible we'll have to do that, or we might have to just restart the server. <laughs> yeah, I went ahead and had them switch colors this time. We'll see if we get lucky. Although it'll probably backfire. Never know with this sort of thing. It's all a guessing game. During this, uh, this first push, I'll see if I can get first person with Wedge. She was obviously just destroying people. 44 points that last round. Topping his team on an impressive team. Let's see what we can see. 
expect him, I think, in each match he's been in. It's always impressive to see see how well he times things and how smoothly he moves. We see Alex has arrived, meaning that HL3 oh. will play with their own players. Still down one, but they will play with their own. They will play with their own, and that gives them a pretty good sniper themselves. So Wedge may have uh, a bit more of a distraction now to play against a regular comp sniper. Who cares just popped up online on Steam as well, so they may be able to get a knife. That would be good. It's always nice to have the teams be even whenever possible. Predominantly a medic, if we get him in here. Though he has some time as soldier and heavy as well. Who cares is on the way, so HL3 will have not. Not standing. That is good news we're hearing there from Flash, our lead referee. Again, here in the booth, this is Alize Fan, joined by Plinko and Zero. Alright, folks, and when he gets in here and we get started, there's always some random chance on payload maps the server's funky. Right after you ready up, it may switch your team colors. If that happens, I'll reload the map, because you're on the teams now, you need to be for the start of the second map. No, I had y'all switch a minute ago, Alex, so we're going to see if that fixed the boot. Who cares? So I'm going to bring back our live picture here. Alright, I'm going to make sure HL3 and help me with the chat with your Uh, your mic's got a little crazy there, Flash. So what I believe he was saying is they're going to give HL3 a, a minute or two to chat with who cares, make sure everything's up to speed. And then we'll have a proper 9v9 match underway. And uh, despite the colors you're seeing on your screen right now, right now HL3 will be pushing first. Uh, this is an attempt to fool the error we saw last time where it switched the teams uh, without being asked. So we'll be seeing HL3 pushing followed by time. We'll see if we're clever or not. <laughs> it's one of the little gremlins in the game sometimes. It's it does it, sometimes it doesn't do it, and it feels like more often than not it does the opposite of what you planned for.
interestingly, we see in the current mid class, mid uh, mid round change, Wedge is not on Sniper. Wedge is now on Soldier with Overcharge on Sniper, using a festive Huntsman. <laughs> We'll see if he stays with it, of course. Yes. Yeah. Probably a better soldier than almost everyone I've ever met, so... Not necessarily a reprieve, even if he does choose to do it. That's a fact. Oh, looks like uh, we're underway. One. And it see, did uh, switch the players. Good. <laughs> worked out perfectly. You see overcharged on sniper, so I think we will see Wedge. Uh, Mission begins in 60 uh, seconds. Soldier, he may never know. N might see him at scout. We have seen him do three or four classes in a round before when he uh, felt the need, so certainly the sort of guy that he can play a lot of stuff and do it very well. Alex challenging Wedge to a sniper lock duel, probably not realizing he is not a sniper. Oh, yeah, she, she, if she waited, if she waited two minutes, she might find out. But <laughs> <laughs> I believe we even saw Wedge playing Spy once when we were on Badlands towards the end of the round. Mission begins in ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Time going with the mini sentry defense. Oh, times Gnarly Rabbit goes down from a sniper shot by Alex as they push Who Cares with Medic. That uh, would have been. Sorry, Who Cares was the Medic. Pushed out with Leminski. Uber comes up with one spoon. A stab there by Tungsten to take out Togas. Spy gets lit on fire, however, and still gets another stab on Daryl. That's the Dr. Grodbert's moon cannon there being used by Larry. Another oh. shot on Gnarly Rabbit by Alex. Alex picking on the medic. As we see HL3's medic healing a spy crab. Right, we see Gazank using the lock and load. Really nice. HL3 little, pushing uh, out area. much more solidly this time than last. I'd love to know what Piatz is doing. He could have sapped that gun right there. Instead he's walking in the open, gets destroyed. The gun goes down to a scout instead. Chafe with a uh, scatter gun kill against the SG. Uh, HL3 doing a better job. They are pushing the cart this time. They're getting farther than they did our last time. And they're doing it much faster. A small sentry gun going up right behind the gun. Oh, Tungsten with a vicious stab on Larry. See Alex uh, attempting to pan. I believe we're seeing uh, what we would normally refer to as the. Uh, derp strategy now from uh, HL3. To an extent, yes, it seems like a couple of their players are doing that while the rest are still fighting hard and actually doing better than they did last time. Uh, if the whole team got into it and started uh, playing as hard as they could, they might get a cap here. Spy going out, getting dead wrong. The scout goes, keeps the cart alive. Good job on to Chafe for doing that. Here comes an Uber Heavy. Dead, Dead Bandidos. Bandidos. Yeah. With who cares? Over the top, walking an Uber up to the cart. The, uh, sticky sticky trap there. Him. He stays alive. Good healing there. The overheal affects him. Move the cart to the final little turn before the point. Two scouts now active on HL3. And two snipers. 
Yeah, Daryl Dime joining Tilgas as uh, sniping. Yeah. Lemons uh, also known as Tilgas got backstab just now. They're that same heavy combo up over the top. Mary does backstab them though. That's one way to take them out. Yeah. Then we see Pyro moving in. That's Chafe. Very flexible player Chafe is. At least three or four classes he can play as well. He's always trying hard, always out there. We're about to see a cap. I think. Oh, so close. They are on the point. They just need to touch it, and they'll get a point. But there's nobody that touch it. Heavy's coming in. Or that spy there. There's the spy. The spy will finish it. They get a point there with 355. Well, at 355, I should say. See, the footspin got up on the shelf there for a minute. Yeah, it got launched and it worked out for him pretty well. well he gets panned by Alex there, leaping in, and uh, HL3 pushing along nicely. They go down into the underpass. Only a level one on the next point. If they push through here fast enough, they are going to be able to get to the next point. They need to get some folks up here, try and clear the way ahead now that they have a high man team. There's the spy dealing with the engineering. See if he can stay alive. But finally slashes down gear loose, takes out all his gear. The way is clean. That's some good spy work there by Larry. And he took out three gun at the end. So Blunstrom's up now. Yeah, gazanked with a lock and load, clears the cart. But HL3 perhaps realizing that, wait a minute, they've got uh, they've got a good push going on here. Lock and load's real nice to take out players on the cart. They're going to be in a fixed location, get a lot of damage, and then get that splash explosion damage. HL3 right now edging the cart, but uh, time locking it down with lots of stickies and lots of players. Still only a level one up with Gear Loose. He's getting an upgrade to level two now. Chafe coming in. Nice deflect by Chafe. Takes out Blumspoon with our deflected crit rocket. That is a valuable kill for HL3 if they can press the uh, press now. Blumspoon has been holding them down severely. Larry spying around the back edge there. Let's see Alex where he goes in. Alex is making some great jumps to get behind the uh, time, but then she's just going all pan, not even using any uh, explosives. I think she's, she might be using a sticky jumper to do those. Which means she may not. And there's a sap. There's the engineering in trouble again. How the spy does go down. He is dead wrong. Still alive. The uh, cart has made it out of the underpass. It's now on the level on the cap point two side. Little huntsman will there between uh, overcharged and P-hats. <laughs> Huntsman been proven repeatedly a pretty potent weapon, especially at close range. Overcharge using that to take out a sentry gun, a mini sentry, but SG nonetheless. Larry getting some heals before being identified by the medic. How a trigger she is sticky jumpering, so doesn't leave her with a lot of other... Is she carrying a uh, grenade launcher standard, or does she have something else to try? I didn't see. Cart's starting to go backwards. We'll see when she spawns. There she goes. She must be using a launcher. Which one? I don't know. k Chris gets up there and gets the cart moving. There's a spy moving in. Takes out K. 60 seconds. She's using a lock and load. She just took out the... Uh, got behind and took out the dispenser. Ah, yeah. She oh, is now in a good hand. position. She, she takes out the there. gun. She's by herself back there, running around. 40 seconds coming up left. Alex pans another dispenser and goes down to a caber from Gazankt. Mission ends in 30 seconds.
there a spy decoy back there? Seems like we probably, yep, there he is. There he comes out, gets a stab on three gun, and the scout moves in to try and push the cart. That's Chafe now on scout. Ever flexible. Alex gets the gun, but is goes down, not able to make it to the cart. Three, two, one. Looks like that's going to be around. But HL3 making a game of it. They get a good push on. They get it just as far as G.O.D. did in its first round. And now it's time for time to push back. Mission begins in 60 seconds. Mission begins in 30 seconds. Sentry going up. Come here, Sally. Ready to charge. It's like a mini sentry going up behind Mission here. In 10 seconds. Dear Ronnie. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, time goes up the side. He's able to take out, who cares, in the, in the back area. Look, oh, the entire HL3 team got wiped in that very forward defense they just tried there. Yeah, they did. They actually uh, had about five of their team members suicide off the cliff. Oh, I missed. Oh, yeah. fun. Yeah. The game's also about sportsmanship. Sometimes not making an effort is just rude. I uh, agree, uh, not a fan. Having been on uh, teams that, uh, that put other teams in a bad position and been on a team that uh, got rolled frequently, never cared to see it. Always wanted to play uh, as hard as you could. Of course, they only kept one point. Good game it. time. We'll see you all next weekend in week five. It'll be about 25 minutes before the next game starts. Next one will be between T5 and the Ville Cup and Cakes.